Hey guys, it's me, Vanessa. I'm making an update for my weight and how things are going. And especially, I will be doing a review of the program that I did last week. Uh, I did a modified program, so I didn't do the full thing, but I can share what I have learned in the past two weeks. Um, but starting with weight, so I'm sitting right at 146.8 pounds, which is a loss of 0.2 for the week, which is not bad, I'm very happy. I did see the 145 range. I think the lowest I was was 145.4 or 0.6. Uh, so I'm getting closer. Uh, now with this whole weight thing, you really cannot control what your weight is on the scale, but you can control what you do. So I was still tracking my food, I was still exercising, so I was doing everything that I was supposed to be doing, the scale will show soon, I hope. Uh, or I just might be one of those people that comfortably maintain closer to 150, uh, in between 145 and 150. So we shall see. I don't know if I'll drop below 145, but I might. I really might. Not sure. But I'm keeping an eye on it. Now, I do want to share with... Uh, there is a program called Four Weeks of the Prep. It's to prep for the six weeks of the work, which is a Beachbody program. Now, this program is a four week program. Uh, and then of course, six weeks of work is a six week program. Uh, but this four week program is to prep you to do something that's more advanced. Uh, so Four Weeks of the Prep is an intermediate program. A beginner can do it, uh, but I do not recommend. Uh, because there is a lot of endurance in this one and it's a little bit more complicated with coordination too. So I personally would say if you're just starting out beginning, do something like 21 Day Fix or any of the other beginner programs, that is a better option. Now, as far as the program itself, I really enjoyed it. it what you do is you do two weeks of different workouts and then you repeat for the next two weeks. So it's four weeks, but you're not having a different workout every single day for the whole four weeks. You're just having separate workouts or different workouts for two of those weeks. And then you just repeat. Um, and then the range and repair, which is a recovery workout that's every Saturday, you will repeat that particular workout. Um, there's no different workout to it. Now, I did like how it was very heavy weight based. Uh, so there was a lot of weights to it. I found that it's not any particular body part, it's more of a full body workout. So when you're working the arms, you're also working the legs. When you're working the abs, you're working something else. Um, it's a lot of pulling, pushing movements. Uh, so that's a lot of the upper body. The lower body, they do have a particular day, um, but you're still working your core with legs. Um, and then there was a few endurance uh, movements in between some of the weight training. Um, there was a full day of endurance and agility training, which was nice to have. Um, there was a full day also of isometrics, which is more of the slower movements and concentrating on um, the curl or holding a movement, uh, which was very, very hard. Um, it was one of the harder days uh, because it does take a whole lot of thinking and work and stabilizing. And there was a time where just my body was done. I just could not hold a plank anymore. Um, so the isometric one was really good. There was also one called the crucible, which was the hardest workout of any program that I've done through Beachbody has definitely been that workout in particular. And what it was, was a bunch of different, um, reps. So you would do 25 reps of a particular movement. So it would be the squat press or it would be um, like a lunge with something else. And you would do all those movements and you would do 25 reps of each one. And then in between you would do an army crawl, which you would crawl forward and crawl back in a plank with sliders on your feet. Um, and then you would go to the next movement and do 25 reps of that. And then you go back to the army crawls and do that for a full minute. So that was insane. Um, there were a few times towards the end where I just had to hold a plank 
and I had to pause a few times, like rest literally on my knees because my, my abs just would not cooperate. So would I do this program again? Hell yeah, I loved it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, now it is known as being explicit uh, because this is the program that is all balls to the wall, um, cussing in it and all this kind of stuff, but they do have a recording to where they have the safe version so you can work out in front of your kids and not hear all the cursing. And then they have the explicit version where nothing is bleeped out or anything like that. So that is the nice part of it that you can choose. Um, there is no music to the program, so you can play your own music in the background, which is nice. I like when the Beachbody programs do that uh, now, especially because I like to listen to different music while I'm working out and yeah, I just like it better. So, but so I would give it definitely a thumbs up. Uh, now I did not do the full four weeks. I only did two weeks, so I can't really say like how my results would be. I definitely did feel stronger. Um, my arms, I noticed started getting more defined uh, from what I've done with other programs. So I can definitely tell that this one would be awesome. As far as that, I did notice too that my legs got stronger with this program. Now, as far as hip mobility and stuff, MBF and MBFA have been the best program for hip mobility. Um, and I think that one was better for runners. This one was more endurance um, based, almost like a Shanti workout, but with weights. And this one was more on agility, kind of like the old program called Shift Shop from Beachbody, very similar to that. I can see this program in particular being helpful for athletes um, and just general people too, who just want to get in shape. But yeah, excellent, excellent program. I really like it. Um, now, how has the move gone? As you can see, everything is like missing. So I'm packing up and we should be moving out of this house after this week. It's really sad, but I will keep you all posted on how everything goes. My last official weigh-in will be next Monday uh, before we get back to the US. So it's gonna be kind of really odd, my updates, because I won't be able to update you weight-wise, but I will be able to update you on what I'm doing as far as my eating, um, exercise, and also how I feel in my clothing. So I will use that more as an indicator on weight um, and not the actual number on the scale because I won't have a scale. It will be shipped over to the US. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So I will talk to you all next week. Have a fantastic week. Bye for now.